Hello, and welcome in to episode nine of Grin with Jen. So happy to have you. Okay, so an egg burrito walked into a bar, and the bartender says, we don't serve food. Funny. How's everybody? I want to do a check-in on the floss challenge. I know it's kind of something that you think that should go away. But if you don't keep challenging yourself, you'll never get better, right? So keep revisiting episode one. Episode one. Remind yourself of why flossing is a helpful idea. So hopefully you have not fallen off the bandwagon. And if you have, it's always great to hop back on. So with this episode, we're going to be doing a holiday gift guide healthy habits and hacks sort of a thing, okay? So four things that we're gonna cover are, how do you not have bad breath during the holidays? How to encourage your environment for an uplifted and healthy and happy environment? Because you can kind of control the environment you're in, by the way, those parties that you're at, okay, or that you have, and you might have people that you aren't so meshy with, you don't mesh with them, uh, or they bring the whole place down, I have got the greatest thing for you. Uh, Let's see, a detox bundle, because we all know that we may overeat. I have been since Halloween, Uh, and indulging with the drinks. So, That's going to be extremely helpful uh, for your recovery period. And then hydration and making sure that you stay hydrated through the winter months is super important to productivity, to outlook, focus, and overall production for, for yourself and for what you want to get done in a day. So let's get started. How are you going to have the best breath? You're eating all sorts of things. You're around a bunch of people. They might be holiday parties, Christmas parties, Hanukkah parties, whatever you are associated with, you're gonna be around people, right? And maybe you're wearing a mask and maybe you're not. And so maybe there's that self-conscious thing that happens. So you want to be on your best behavior, right? So here is the bundle for a bad breath. One, we all know that we should be brushing twice a day and flossing at least every 24 hours so that the bacteria is removed. So it's not doing its dirty job of breaking things down and making the stench, okay? And we know that, maybe you experienced that, maybe not. So uh, those things aside, because those are daily routine things that we should be doing for the holidays or any time that you're gonna be in a crowd or at a party, this is always a good thing. So it's not just for the holidays. So there's something to be said about peppermint. uh, And there's something even more profound being said about peppermint. That's real peppermint. So in floss, in toothpaste, in some of the goodies, peppermint bark, there's peppermint. Okay. But it is now more so an offshoot of what real peppermint extract is. It's constructed in a lab and it's artificial, okay? So it doesn't really have health benefits for you. It gives you that taste of peppermint, but it's not real peppermint, which comes from a plant, which provides refreshing benefits, um, way better smells in your mouth than what you currently have going on. And so using uh, an essential oil extract of peppermint is going to behoove you. So there's these little beadlets that you can pop in your mouth and, and they clear your nasal passages. They promote clear breathing. <laughs> they make your breath way better. And your focus and your attention span is like, immediately through the roof, like immediately. So it's wonderful because you don't have to go to a piece of gum, 
which if you have uh, TMJ disorder where you, it's hard for you to chew or those sorts of things where it's painful in your jaw, you're not chewing anything and you're not being um, sort of tacky when you have like gum, you know, sometimes you chomp or smack or whatever. You don't have to worry about that because it's, you don't have to chew for a prolonged period of time to keep that fresh, refreshing feeling, breath, taste, feeling in your mouth. You put the little beadlet in and you pop it between your teeth and then your whole mouth is filled with peppermint. It is a rather very interesting experience and your breath is fresh for like an hour at least, okay? So I'll give you my little tidbit. So as a hygienist, I drink coffee on the way into work, right? It's like the time to enjoy my coffee and it's quiet and usually it stays hot during the drive. And then I go into work. So if I've already brushed my teeth at home, I sometimes I brush when I get to work, okay? It's not that I forget. Then what I do is I put in a beadlet, a peppermint beadlet, or just do a drop of peppermint. And then that coffee breath that you have is totally eradicated. And by eradicated, I mean it's gone. Eradicated, for sure. I'm not even making it up. And it's so exciting as a hygienist because I'm like, just brush my teeth. And I'm not supposed to brush my teeth five times a day like you heard about in one of the episodes prior because it's not good for your enamel and your gum tissues, right? So it totally solves the problem. And then your patients are like, she has the freshest breath I've ever ever smoked through all the masks, right? Anyway, it's amazing. So that's like the fastest fresh breath tip I have. But in accordance with that, for a long-term health benefit and fresh breath situation, doing what's um, paired with that is a combination of clove and orange and cinnamon and that on your toothbrush with your toothpaste or without your toothpaste and you're brushing it around, it helps with the bacteria and the benefits are a withstanding amount of time. And so you are working at freshening your breath, even though you're not doing anything, only because you used those oils. Um, of clove, orange, and cinnamon. And so with that, it's like a double duo. So you're working on the back end with the daily maintenance, right? With the brushing, flossing, and those, those three oils that work with the bacteria. And then you pop in the, the peppermint whenever you need that. And you could do that three times through the party and no one's going to know because you're not chewing anything, right? It's a super subtle thing. Um, I mean, even if you've got periodontal disease where it's not like the fastest thing that you're going to get it taken care of, or you have like a resurgence of the disease kind of wax and wanes, it is so beneficial to the stink in your mouth. So if you have a stinky mouth and you don't want one, this is the first step to minimally begin to fix that, okay? So that's the bad breath thing. And how wonderful would it be to go to a function, a party, a get together, and have no concerns about if your breath is bad? It would be wonderful, right? I even have that. Like, oh my gosh, like you get so close. Sometimes you really have to holler in somebody's ear, right? Like, hey, it's like, you better be fresh. You better be fresh on that. Or no one's gonna want you to whisper in their ear again. <laughs> so the other tip is if you are like, Virginia, my breath does not stink. Listen, do the lick test, okay? Lick the back of your hand and then smell it. It'll also teach you to brush your tongue too. Tongue scrapers are really good. That's with the maintenance thing over here, okay, with the brushing and the flossing. So, okay, that's bundle number one. 
that can be used at all the days of your life. Okay. And not only that, but you, with the cinnamon that's in the, the brushing um, oil, that helps with moderating your sugar levels. And, you know, you're at a party and you're probably either eating something of refined sugars. Okay. If you're eating a cookie or if you're eating a bread, right, that breaks down into the simple sugars. Right? This is all food for the bacteria, right? We don't want that to happen. Um, or you might be having a cocktail, which is like a hundred percent sugar. Okay. So next bundle. We all have been somewhere where the environment has been rudely interrupted by somebody who's not in the mood, right? So the one way that you are totally able to control somebody else's behavior. And I mean control, I mean uplift and slightly nudge into a more positive direction is by using a diffuser. I know people that don't know about this, it might sound weird, and an essential oil specifically that uplifts your hormones. <laughs> Okay, it, it, it just works wonders, okay? And I'm not gonna get into the science of how it works except for that it's a fatty substance. And so it works by melding with a fatty substance called your cell wall. And so the, the molecular structures intermingle, okay? And this helps your environment intermingle in a very lovely and peaceful way during your party. It could be during Christmas. It could be during Easter. It could be during a birthday party, but you get a diffuser and you get an essential oil that's really an essential oil, not a fragrance and not something uh, conjured up in a lab. You get something from a plant that God made, right? And you use it to your benefit so that the party poopers stop pooping at your party. <laughs> Okay, and they start partying at your party. You put a couple of drops of the oil, it's called adaptive, and you put that in the diffuser and the molecules go up in the air and you breathe it in and guess what? It starts to molecularly configure different hormone cascades so that the person who typically leads to the negative is a little more positive. Um, you might see them actually like hanging out over by the diffuser, like, what is this? <laughs> okay, uh, that was me. One day I'll give you a short little story. And I couldn't, I couldn't place what was so amazing. And I went closer to the diffuser and closer to the diffuser. And I finally just sat there like, what's going on? This is so amazing. I don't even want to leave it right? And that's when I was like hooked. Like, there's something to this. I need to get one of these for myself. Because then once it's in the air, everybody that's in that environment is breathing it in and it's having the positive effect on that person. So you can set the mood for whatever you would like at any point of time in your life for your children in the morning, if you want them to be calm or in the evening, you want them to be calm. <laughs> if you want somebody to not be crazy, okay, this helps calm me down because I'm like the Tasmanian devil and it can slow my roll, okay? So if you are like a highly energetic person and sometimes people need you to just kind of take it down a couple notches, this is totally your tool, okay? And it's not like it's, making you not be you. It's just toned you down and it can calm you down and be relaxing while still being invigorating. It's unbelievable the combos you can make, but the one adaptive is the one for the holiday season. Okay. Here and now. So that's amazing. Um, there's another combo that I'll link in the show notes. That's really good for if you're anxious, you have anxious feelings, 
or you're overwhelmed and it works just to balance out those uh, emotions and keep you calm, okay? And that is really, I think, something that's needed in this arena of time currently. And then if you are feeling like, geez Louise, I can't even get a foot out of my bed. I need some serious help. You're begrudged or you're a little angry or mad or overwhelmed and you just don't even know where to start. There's a second set for that. That'll link in the show notes, okay? And it's like citrusy and it's refreshing and fresh and uplifting. And it really does put a nickel in it for you. And so you'll get up, you'll get going. I know you don't, might not believe me, but for those of you who've experienced it, it's really amazing and quite a gift to yourself to have this as a tool to be able to increase your functionality on a daily basis, especially now, right? You might be shopping, you might be working overtime, you have a lot of family that you're dealing with. You might have a disaster of a house that you have to clean up because you're having people come over. Who, Whatever the situation may be, you need a little extra oomph. This is what is going to help you do that, okay? So little tidbit, I wasn't feeling like coming on and doing this episode today, episode nine, feeling like, what's the point, right? But I have a deeper mission, so that's helpful. And I used adaptive, put it in my hands, put it on the bottom of my feet, and I put it in a diffuser while I was setting up. And I'm like, back to being me, right? Like, oh, this could be so fun. These people need this. They They don't know about it. They need to learn about it, okay? Take your time. You don't have to go and click on a link right now, but you need to know that this is available to you because this is what can change your day around to make you have a positive day, to make you have a healthier day. The other things that you might be using that have scents that make you feel really warm and fuzzy are possibly loaded with fragrances that disrupt your your hormones and cause further damage and a whole slew of other things. Go look it up. I'll, I'll put a link in the research note or a research link in the show notes about what harmful effects that it can have on you. Okay. With your kid's attention span and having them act up all of these fragrances and chemicals that are in your furniture and your carpet and all the stuff in your house leads to your house being like a hundred times more toxic than you will than outside, than you're even aware of, which is so alarming, right? So why bring other things in that are gonna contribute to the disruption of your internal peace and hormone and emotional state? Let's not go there, let's not go there, okay? Um, So that's how you encourage your environment, okay? You can calm it down, you can rile it up, for whatever you need, but I'll put those in the show notes, okay? So we did the bad, the fresh breath or bad breath bundle, however you wanna look at it, half glass, glass half full, glass half empty. Um, We'll call it the best breath for Christmas bundle. The encourage your environment, okay? We're we're always thinking about the positive aspects, right? Of of how we want it to be, right? Remember in episode two, we were thinking about the word work. Maybe that was episode one. Anyway, go listen to it again. The detox bundle. Listen, I am coming clean with the fact that I've had like a candy every day since Halloween, which is so terrible because let's just throw this on the line. Every time you're having a sugary treat, okay, food or drink or otherwise, you decrease your pH in your mouth, in your body, the sugar levels, right, affect your brain and produce dopamine. So you want to have more. And the sugar in create, uh, creates an inflammatory response throughout your whole body, right? And that inflammatory response is so disruptive to your cellular health 
over time, long periods of time, it can assist with helping cancer grow. Not only does sugar feed cancer, but that inflammatory response weakens your immune system so that if cancer is brewing, it's a possibility for that to basically like take over the shop. All right, I'm so simplifying things right now. So it's understandable, okay, that you can see where I'm coming from. And feel free to fact check me, okay? Ask the doctor about what sugar does. Do a research project of your own and watch a TED talk maybe on a doctor who has done a talk on sugar for your brain. It's really interesting. <laughs> Okay, so we want to decrease the amount of sugar, okay, currently doing so, and that all starts with, like, what's your future outlook, right? Like, what's, we maybe need to do, like, an envisioning episode on, on our greater vision so that it helps guide us to the vision, even though sometimes we veer off of the path getting to our vision. Um, it's so helpful and grounding to know what you want your end result to be, all right? And mine is to not have diabetes, to not have Alzheimer's, to not be overweight, okay? Which I'm currently working on. So you know what I use. The oils for your toothpaste help your immune system. Cinnamon is so good for your immune system, for your blood sugar levels. You don't even know, but you will. Uh, there is a blend of oils and herbs that I use before as like a prophylaxis going out and after going out that assists in assisting your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, and your skin in detoxing. Okay. So you have primary detoxing organs, your liver and your kidneys, Okay, for excretion and getting out toxic waste. Well, these things assist in that process and accumulating and, and helping to filter and get out the things that you don't want, which bog your system down, which make you feel tired or grumpy, right? So get that crap out of there. And water is just really good, okay? But I'm pretty sure that a lot of people aren't drinking water when they're out. And if they are, good for you. Do a little squish before you swallow, right? It helps the bacteria. Anyway, that is so beneficial to having assistance because our bodies are already overloaded by what I was telling you about, about your home, right? Being a hundred times more toxic, a hundred times more toxic. And your body's trying to filter things. Yes, we were made to do this. I agree with you. Like God made us so amazing and miraculous and and what we can handle our bodies can do on a daily basis to keep us functioning. But if you want to operate on like a higher level, the next level, then assisting what you've already got is going to be so beneficial. It's like a soccer game. You can't play a one man soccer game, right? No. So when you're going to going for the goal, right? And you kick it to the other forward and they make the goal, you assisted them, right? You helped them make the goal. This complex, okay, this little duo that I'm gonna link um, is performing the assist to the liver and the kidneys and the skin and the lungs. Skin and the lungs are secondary filtering organs. So here's a tip. If you notice that you're really breaking out around the holidays, uh, or if you've been eating terribly or you're overwhelmed and your system is a little bit down, you're going to notice more breakouts because your body is trying to purify and get whatever it can out. And if it has to do it through your skin, that's how it does it. Along with a lot of host of other things that can happen with your skin. Okay. I'm not a dermatologist, uh, but it's a point of knowledge that you should be aware of that your body needs to clean out and it wants to. So help it. So I'll link that, link that down in the notes. Um, and I, I encourage you to go and, and look at this 
and look into it and read it and, and learn about your body and how it functions and how these things will help you function on a higher level, okay? Because I want happy, healthy folks in this world. And that's why I'm doing the podcast. It's why I want to educate you. And I want you to be happy for the people that you're around. Because if you think of your best buddy that you love to be around, are they gloomy? They are not. They're probably an amplified amplified personality. They probably are really uh, adventurous or excited or they're a little probably more high energy or functioning and they do things and they accomplish stuff, right? And they make you feel good. They are doing these things for themselves, okay? And another place um, to start is with the water. We talked about that. So this leaving the detox blend um, bundle and going to hydration. Having water is so paramount. I love water and I am not getting enough water. And I can tell because I'm nursing and there's not as much milk being made these days because I'm not drinking water. It's currently snowing and it's freezing. So you don't really want to drink water because it starts to cool your internal temperature, right? Because I don't drink lukewarm water because that's really weird for me. I get it if you have sensitive teeth or whatever. But anyway, I like ice cold water. So I kind of start to drink less. So adding things that make your water taste really good. Lemon. Okay. You can do fresh squeezed lemon, which has kind of an acidic component to it. So you want to not have so much of that doing a lemon extract. Okay. Lemon oil extract doesn't have the the pH um, that's going to affect the enamel and wear the enamel down and, and, and bring your pH to a lower level. We don't want that. We want to be more basic, okay? So adding an oil to your water is really advantageous for improving the taste because that's the number one thing that people are like, I can't drink enough water because it doesn't taste good because they're used to the sugar, right? That messes with your brain. That decreases your immune system. And so adding lemon or orange or lime or grapefruit these citruses, one, they make it taste really amazing. Two, they help in uh, as a diuretic and, and de-junking your system, okay? They help kind of with the detox situation. Uh, they help with edema. They are very, very cleansing to your whole system. And so having that on a daily basis is the easiest way basically to start detoxing. And if you get into the habit of that, by adding that to your water, you're gonna drink more water. You're gonna flush more of the toxic load out. You're gonna improve your organs functionality, okay? And you're gonna be decreasing whatever sugary drink you're having. So the calories are decreasing the sugar is decreasing, your immune system is increasing, you're only going to be benefited by having more water, okay? And the the citrus uh, oil extracts from the rind of the fruit is how that is done. You put that in your water and you drink it. I know your objection. That's really weird. Why would I drink that? Listen, you're drinking a whole slew of other garbage in your energy drink or whatever it may be, okay? The creamer that you put in your coffee. I'm not judging you, okay? Because I have creamer in my coffee. I try to do the one that's the least filled with junk. Um, So there's a little bit of responsibility that you should own in knowing what you're putting in your body. So fact check me. Go look at this stuff, check it out, learn about it. But this is only something that behooves you to learn about or to partake in, to amplify your lifestyle, your health, your breath, your organ functioning, your environment, your party, your party people, okay? It's all around uplifting in this whole circle of things, okay? So with that, I wanna say all of the holiday links will be in the show notes. You can shoot those off to somebody else. You can get those as a gift for somebody else. Um, You will only benefit, 
All right, I really encourage you to give it a try. I am so excited for you. I hope you have the happiest holiday season, Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, and whatever holidays that I am not discussing. I hope that everything is happy and healthy for you. And that bottom line is my goal for my life and for your life. And I figured this out and I want to share it with you so that you can partake in the same enthusiasm for life that I do. Okay. So I hope this helps you. I hope you have a wonderful time and God bless you.